My name's Eva. I'm Lisa. And together we are Lever Learning. Now we're going to be filming some short little snippets of uh, some story time and some other activities that you can do at home with your children or um, you could put it on for your children, you could put it on your smartphone or airplay it to your TV. Um, a lot of our children that attend Lever Learning, they get so excited when they see us in our workbook and they go, look, there's Eva and Lisa in the book. So we thought, what a better way they could see us on their TV or their phone. <laughs> okay, today, um, before we start, what we would like you to do is go and get your thrush chart. Make sure you have your thrush chart right next to you while we read this story. Now, if you're new to um, Lever Learning and you don't have a thrush chart, you can purchase one directly off the uh, Thras Institute website. Uh, we'll put a link down the bottom so you can click directly onto them. Now, please note, this is strictly copyright. So you need to purchase it directly through Thras. Um, we can't stress the importance of a Thras chart in terms of um, understanding our English language and the 44 phonemes of our English language. And this can be used for your preschool children all the way up throughout their high school. So basically it's a periodic table for our English language. So if you don't have one, go and get one. It's very important. Okay, now we're going to start a story. And while I'm reading the story, you're going to help Lisa find the words that are in this story on your thrush chart. Now we have our thrush chart, which is exactly the same as the yellow chart. It's just a little bit more colorful for the little children. Okay, are we ready? Have you got your thrush chart? Okay, the story I'm going to be reading today is called I Lost My Cat. And this is written by Denise Ritchie. I lost my cat. This is my cat. Now Lisa's gonna show us where the cat is on the thrush chart. Now make sure you are on the consonant side the consonant side is the side with the 26 letters of the alphabet up the top. It's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> so it's got your 26 letters up the top and it's the, in the first row, the second box is the K box. And in the word cat, the C makes the K sound. I took my cat to school for pet day. And school is on our thrush chart in the same k box but in the word school we have a digraph two letters making one sound and the two letters in school that make the k sound is C and H my cat was scared mm, there's the poor cat looks very scared and he might be scared of some of these animals that are people brought to school for pet day might be scared of the dog or maybe might be scared of the pony or the lamb. My cat ran under the chair. There he is hiding under the chair. Now chairs on our thrush chart. Chairs on in the next bo box, directly next to the k box and the d box, we have the ch box. And there's a digraph again. Two letters making one sound. And the two letters are C and H and they make the ch sound. My cat ran out of the door. Now, door's on our thrush chart, but door is on the vowel side. So if you flip your chart, you'll find the flat. There we go, now flip it, don't turn it, you flip it, and you will see the vowels. And it's in our very last row, the or box. And in the word door, we actually have a trigraph. Three letters making one sound. And those three letters are O, O, R. My cat went into the garden. And garden is on the vowel side. It's in the schwa box. And in the word garden, we have a very relaxed sound. The E makes the uh sound. My cat went up the ladder. There's ladders on our thrush chart, but this time it's back on the consonant side in the d box. And in the word ladder, right in the middle, we have the digraph. 
two letters making one sound. And the digraph is d, d, d making the d sound. That was next to the tree. Tree, fine tree, it's on our vowels. The first row in our vowels in the E box. And we have the digraph, E, E, making the E phoneme. Try that with your mouth, everyone. E. My teacher saw my cat go through the gate. So gate's on our thrush chart. See if you can find gate in the, on the consonant side. And in the word gate, we have the G making the G phoneme. And under the bridge. Bridge is on our thrush chart in the J box. Second row on the consonant side. And in the word bridge, we have a trigraph. Three letters making one sound. And the three letters are D, G, E, and they make the J phoneme. Everybody say it with me. J. J. I have lost my cat. And that is that. And we have an exclamation mark there. I went home to my house. Now house is on the thrush chart and house is on the vowel side and it's on the fourth row, right down the bottom, in the owl box. Everybody say owl. And that's a diphthong. So you can hear your mouth go owl. And in owl we have two letters, digraph, two letters making one sound. The two letters that make the owl sound are O and U. To cry on my bed. So I went home to my house to cry on my bed. Now bed's on the thrush chart in the vowels. First row in the E box. And in bed, the E makes the E phoneme. Purr, meow, meow. I heard a purr and then a meow, meow. There was my cat under my bed. My cat is not lost. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that story. Now I have a few um, compre comprehension questions to ask to see who was listening. And you can try answering these at home. So the first question is, where did the cat, when did the cat get lost? Why was the cat at school? If you can remember. Remember there were lots of animals at school. Where did the cat go first? Who saw the cat go through the gate? Did the cat go over the bridge? What sounds did the cat make? Where was the cat hiding? Okay, see if you can answer those questions at home. Now we have a little um, activity for you to do. In our story, we saw the word cat, chair, bed, tree, gate, house, school, door, ladder, teacher, bridge, and garden. And all these words can be found in your thrush chart. What we'd like you to do, if you would like, is to have a go at writing them. Now Lisa's gonna show us how she's written the word cat, and you pay attention so you can do this at home. Okay, so we have the letter C making the K sound like as in cat, the letter A making the A sound like as in ant, and the letter T making the T sound like as in tap. So we've got K, A, T, K, A, T, three times, K, A, T. We've got cat. And what I've done is I have put the word cat into a sentence. And I've made sure that I've used some adjectives, some describing words um, to describe the cat and also to describe the noun chair that I've got. So I've put the fluffy cat sat under the wooden chair. And I've made sure that my sentence starts with a capital letter and it ends with a full stop. Wonderful. Now, Keep in mind, this activity might be for someone who's a little bit older or um, an extension activity for all those bright little kids who like their mums and dads to help them have a go. Children can make up the most amazing sentences. So why not have a go with your child? And remember, the most important thing is have fun. Yes. We 
hope you enjoy and we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.